All right, out here at Awesome Toy Block, here at the Jada booth at San Diego Comic Con. I'm here with Mike. How you doing? And uh, we're going to just do a quick walkthrough of what uh, we've got on display here. All right. So top shelf here, we got the transform. I'm sorry, we can't say transform. It's converted <laughs> Optimus. Uh, yeah, the converted Optimus Prime. It's an radio control vehicle, and it converts from the, the robot form to the vehicle form. It has sound. It has light. And we have the original um, audio from the the actual character that does it on the cartoon. Nice. Yeah. So Very it's, cool. Uh, it's really cool. And that's in stores now. That's right? in stores now. You can get that at Target um, on shelves at Target now. Um, next to that is our um, Nemesis Prime uh, diecast vehicle. This does not transform. It does have a Nemesis Prime figure embossed on the bottom of the chassis. Uh, but this will be a next level item. So Jada Toys, oh, sorry, JadaNextLevel.com is our direct consumer website. You're going to get that there right now. Sweet. And yeah, your diecast vehicles are just off the hook. They oh, thank you very fantastic. much. Yeah, that's our bread and butter. Yeah, that's, that's where our... Our foundation has, it was from, so we've, we've been doing it for over 28 years now. Nice, very cool. All right, and next up, uh, we have our convention exclusive with the Black Chrome Batman, uh, the Batman Batmobile. Uh, this one's really cool. This one has become my favorite Batmobile of all time right now. Uh, we, I'm still trying to figure out what car it's based off of, <laughs> but it is a huge vehicle when you see it in person. Um, but this, this rendition, it looks super ground, it looks like a car that you can see on the street, and it feels like just like something that Batman could build himself. Yeah. And which he did. <laughs> and um, next to that is our newest version of the 66 Batmobile. This one's different because it has the blue windshield. Gotcha. Um, and instead of the uh, orange, fluorescent orange pinstriping, it has the deep red in, uh, pinstripes. And the biggest difference is we included Joker and Penguin. There you go. Yeah. That was a cool item. That one also will be available on Next Level before the end of the year. Very sweet. Just the next level of uh, accuracy there on, yeah. the, on the Batmobile. <laughs> That's right. Um, this is a new line of uh, vehicles. Uh, it's an extension of our Hollywood Ride line. This is called Anime Hollywood Ride. Uh, we're starting off the, the set with uh, Robotech. And it, right there, we'll see uh, Roy Walker. We have uh, Miria and Max Sterling. And then Rick Hunter, the main character. And then we have two new uh, items from Hello Kitty. The um, Hello Kitty Tokyo Speed Giant Nissan GTR. And then the Gretsuko uh, AE86. The cool thing about the Gretsuko one, one side of the vehicle is uh, decoed with uh, her office look. And if you look at the other side, if you can pan, pan to the other side, it's her karaoke death metal look. There, there we go. Yeah, so it, it, it is a two-sided vehicle, just like they're your two-sided or, you know, dual personality character. Very cool. <laughs> and yeah, these are a really cool extension of the Hollywood Rock Yes, slot. yes, yeah, it's really nice. And um, actually, they're going to be available at Target uh, at the end of July. Very cool. And then we got some Street Fighter down here. So Street Fighter will also be in the Anime Hollywood Rides uh, line. Anime Hollywood Rides is not just anime, it's going to be more Japanese pop culture. Okay. So you're, you're going to get video games, you're going to get, uh, you know, Hello Kitty. Um, now we also have the Street Fighter, and if you see in the back there, we also have a Naruto. Um, One Punch Man will also be coming as well. So we got Kami, Guile, and Chun Li coming uh, in the wave through two through four somewhere around there very sweet and that's not all the street fighter you have right no no we're really proud to announce our six inch street fighter action figures starting with ryu chun li and fei long fei long yeah so uh these come you know, it's not showing up but they do have accessories including some special effects pieces okay um like like we had the fireball for for uh, ryu and then the fire kicks from uh chun li uh, they have, they'll have extra hands, and the posability for these things, the articulation is ridiculous. Uh, they're going to be really, really popular here, so uh, keep an eye out for these. Very good. Yeah, Street Fighters, I mean, many have tried, and if you're not going super high yeah. end, they tend to yeah. Not, oh, yeah. not quite hit expectations. Exactly, so. I know. And, um, and, and you're every the fans for this are super critical. Yes. And when we, we tease this, 
you know, we saw a lot of like, oh, you know, I hope they do it good. But everyone that has come to see them in person here at Comic Con, we're really impressed, and they're really excited to get these things in their hands. Oh no, they look fantastic. And these you. are close to production. Correct? They're very close to production. I mean, they're going to be available spring, which is the beginning of next year, 2023. Sweet. Uh, but they're heading into the production line within the next uh, few weeks. Very cool. And what else do we got for some figures here? Yeah, keeping with the Capcom, we have Mega Man. Uh, this is a, a line that of uh, action figures that a lot of people have been looking for. A to. lot, a of, lot people. of people. And they're fanatics. I mean, they're hardcore. They're coming over here telling us, oh, are you going to do this character? Are you going to do that character? Are you going to go into Mega Man X? And all this stuff. We're really excited. We wanted to get there. We want to do all the variations of the characters. We want to do all the bosses. We want to really blow this one out. And, yep. and it'll. It, we can do it with the help of the fans to be able, if they start picking these things up. Oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> I hope so. No, those, but, yeah. those look fantastic. Yeah. And even the, 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 flames. the flames are just gorgeous. Yeah, they're, they're super clear. The plastic is really nice. Um, and they, these also will come with effect pieces as well as other accessories. Very cool. Yeah. And then down here, we've got everybody's favorite <laughs> cheesy <laughs> cheetah. That's right. The Chester Cheetah, uh, this is actually the first action figure ever made of this character. So this character, this action figure is going to be really cool because that we, we spared no expense. If you look at the whiskers, they're plastic whiskers. Um, you know, everything's painted. Every dot on, on the character is painted. Um, even if you look at the hands, you got the, uh, the you got the dust. cheese dust. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you keep uh, if you keep up with uh, Jada Toys, JadaNextLevel.com, sign up for a newsletter. We may have a Hot Cheetos variant coming down the pipeline. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And then we have the Serial Monsters. You released those last year, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, these are available now. You can get them at uh, online retailers um, like Entertainment Earth and uh, Big Bad Toy Store and whatnot. Uh, I, Amazon. Will uh, their other friends be joining us I, soon, I hope? I can't deny, nor uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 or confirm. I, we are working on some more stuff, and I there can't you tell you All right, very more fair. Too. But I mean, life is always better with little boobies. It's, it's probably the, one of the most asked for characters out of this line. Very cool. <laughs> and I know you also you've been knocking Universal Monsters out of the park. I yeah. think it was debuted at Toy Fair. Right? Yes, it was. And this is actually what I contribute as our uh, foray, first foray into the six attractive figures. This is what got us in the door. And this is the, the line that people really looked at and said, wow, you guys are doing something cool. Um, and the next wave that's coming through is going to be available actually in the next week or two for pre-sale on Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. Very cool. Um, which is uh, the Invisible Man and Wolf Man. Very sweet. Yeah, and in the beginning of next year, beginning of 2023, will be The Mummy. And these are actually a step up in articulation from the first wave, which was uh, um, Frankenstein, Bride and, and, uh, creature, and creature, yeah. Very cool. Sweet. And then we'll just wrap. Uh, what's uh, what do we got up here on top? So this is our uh, next. Uh, this is a next level exclusive item that we have. It's our uh, deluxe Frankenstein, which is in the black and white deco. Uh, so it looks more like the movie or the TV or shows. Um, it comes with a table, the operating table. And the operating table swivels. Um, all the belts work. You can connect the uh, the diodes over to his neck. Um, this is a really cool piece, but unfortunately, we're already sold out here on the second day. Sold out <laughs> on day two. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's it is. You. It's I a mean, very good sign. Better than taking thousands of them home. Exactly. Yeah. And last but not least is our uh, Lugosi. We work with the Lugosi Estate. We make a really cool action figure with his likeness. Um, we made sure that the likeness was really good. What's really nice about this is the cape. The cape is wired. Um, a lot of people, companies are starting to do that more often, but you know, we did it from the very get go. And my favorite part of actually the, the product is the packaging. When you open it up, there's like a look of all the accessories, which include the a separate head, uh, some different hands, and some other cool little bits and pieces. Very sweet. Yeah, he just looks, the likeness is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, uh, working with the little ghost, they're, they're very particular about what he looks like. And we have to make sure that he's, it's a. Uh, it makes his, uh, his granddaughter happy. Very sweet. So yeah, it's a pretty exciting time at Jada, huh? Very much so. Very much so. We're, we're changing directions. We're doing a lot of new things, but we're still keeping with our foundation, which is diecast vehicles. Fantastic. Well, Mike, I hope you have a great San Diego Comic Con, and thank you. Uh, thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.